Well, today, one of Appleton's own took center stage in a spelling bee. But Local 5's Timothy Leto tells us how the star of the show is about as far from a student as can be. A parking lot of walkers can only mean one thing. I, I was nervous. The Primrose Retirement Communities Theater has quite a show going on. Everyone came out to root for her. Resident Janelle Coiler has a strategy. Write them down and look at them to see, make sure I have them right. To win Primrose's first ever nationwide spelling bee among all 33 of its locations. Z-A-I-B-A-T-S-U. Zaibatsu. That is correct. Yeah. Every other week, she won a tournament to advance to the next round. And I had a friend here that did one day, read the words to me. She made it to the Nationals, practicing every day. I just offered to see if she would like my help, and she said, Oh, sure. So she said, when would you be available? I said, today. <laughs> Every time I visited her, she was studying. So she was on her A game, ready to go. The 83-year-old hasn't been in a spelling bee for over 70 years. I think about fifth grade. <laughs> I won that. <laughs> but never since then, though. No. And the spelling expert would choose a number line over the alphabet. I was a teacher, but I taught math. Janelle was knocked out 12 words, and an hour and a half later, placing third. Oh, that's too bad. That's okay. But the star of the show didn't need to win. A lot of good people. With an audience that size, she already has. In Appleton, Timothy Leto, Local 5 News. Wow, thank you, Tim. The uh, winner of the contest doesn't get a big prize, just a trophy and, and bragging rights. And Janelle hopes to get those bragging rights next year.